Four-time world champion Ezekiel Kamboi believes Kenya's recent slump in the steeplechase race could be attributed to exhaustion, claiming that some athletes take part in too many races before major international competitions, compounding their chances of performing well. Kenya relinquished the men's steeplechase world title at the Oregon World Championships in the United States after dominating the race for 12 years. Steve Keter tells us more about Babayao, as he's fondly known in the athletic circles, and reflects on his retirement and the future of the steeplechase in Kenya. Has defended his title in style. His epic signature dance whenever he crossed the finish line in the finals of any major competition not only electrified the fans present at the stadium or the ones following on TV, but also served as a constant reminder to the world as to who was the king of the water and barrier race. Kemboi won the men's triple chess world title from 2009 in Berlin, Germany to 2015 world championships in Beijing. Conceselas Kipruto was his heir apparent as he took the mantle winning back-to-back -back titles in 2017 in the United Kingdom and 2019 in Doha. This year he could only manage a bronze, failing to defend his title. When I was retiring I thought uh, he was uh, taking over from me but uh, now he has let us down. Uh, I talked to him after the finals. I told him, uh, my brother, yeah, you still have some years to run so... Live along with Oregon, now plan for Paris Olympics. Kemboi also won two Olympic gold medals at the Athens Games in Greece in 2004 and the London Olympics in the United Kingdom in 2012. He attributes his success to discipline. I could do my training for the last, I think, like six months, just before the competition. And I could also do some two races just to test my fitness. But you see now there's most of these young athletes, some but uh, does like 10 races just before the championships. So that one will be worn out. Kemboi says the lack of enough training facilities within Wasingishu and Nandi counties, where many of the country's top steeple chasers hail from, could also be a contributing factor for Kenya's dwindling fortunes in a race the country has won 13 world titles in the last three decades. My request for the government, also county governments, to do the renovations and to finish before the next Olympics. The 40-year-old is also a trained police officer and says he might consider joining the coaching fraternity in the near future. However, for now, he says he's still an active athlete. Maybe next year for the championships and also for the Olympics, I'll offer myself to coach the stables from Kenya, the guys, yeah. Last week at the Oregon World Championships, Sofiane El Bakali of Morocco won the men's 3,000 meter steeple chess finals, becoming the first non Kenyan to hold both the Olympic and the world titles at the same time. Whether this spells doom to Kenya's long time dominance in the event or not, it is definitely a cause of concern that the athletic stakeholders in the country will like to be addressed before next year's world championships and the Paris 2024 Olympics. Steve Keter, NTV Sport in Eldoret.